Hey guys, welcome back to Wonder World. It's your girl Tammy. Oh, that is so not my blog name no more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Denny. So, I'm a bit late in the game with Vlogmas this year, but you know, things happen. I'm not even about to front with y'all. Things happen. But we're about to get this train back rolling. So, today's first Vlogmas video, I'm going to be trying out a new product. And I am super excited because it's from one of my favorite drugstore like brands. And yeah, so let's get started. First off, before I continue, I just want to tell you guys you know, if you has, haven't checked my blog out, uh, you can check out the link and go and see what's going on over there. I post playlists every Monday. I do all types of other blog content throughout the week. And I also post like, you know, fashion inspiration from time to time, you know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> all right, so today's new product that I'm trying out on my channel is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. And the shade that I picked up is Nutmeg. Now, on foundation.com which you guys know is my go-to source to match myself with different foundations they actually gave me the shade cinnamon but when I looked at cinnamon on the NYX website it almost looked a bit too neutral um or too cool toned and I didn't think it was gonna match me that well so I kinda just looked at the swatches of what the foundation looked like and it looked like nutmeg matched me better so we about to see if I messed up and should have listened to foundation.com or if I made the right call but yeah so can I just say how great it feels to be back on YouTube like I know it's been a long behind time since I've posted a video but it's good to get back in swing of things and get back to talking to you guys regularly and everything so I, I don't know it feels like a homecoming almost but we're gonna get started because I got somewhere to go with my mom and I gotta get my face done and get dressed. So, yeah, you guys always know I got music playing in the background. So, today is a grab bag, pretty much whatever I just feel like playing. I'm just gonna tell my Google Assistant to start playing. So, right now it's. It's Money in the Grave by Drake featuring Rick Ross. So, it ain't gonna be that song the whole time, but. I'll give you guys updates as I go. Hey right, y'all zoomed in on me now. I'm taking my glasses off. By the way, my new glasses, um, I got them from Zenny Optical and I love them. So I'll link them below. But yep, we're going in with brows first. You guys know how we do things around here. Brows before foundation. And I'm using the NYX, oh, I was about to say can't stop, won't stop, that's foundation. Blah, blah. I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade Espresso. So, for the longest, I thought I was actually already using espresso, but I was using chocolate. But, y'all know that I got that corrected, so... Yeah. All right, I zoomed out just a hair because upon further review, y'all were real close to my face. But anyway, so now that I've started with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, I'm going to go in with my Milani Prow Made. You guys know that that's been a staple of my makeup routine for a minute. I'm doing the Stay Put Brow Color Prow Made, as you guys know, in the shade Dark Brown. So yeah, that's what we're going in with. Alright, so now we are officially done with brows. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. <laughs> I drew a blank for a minute. Oh, and now I can't find my concealer. Jesus, where is it? No! Alright, so over the past couple months, I've been trying out a whole lot of new stuff, which will be coming up in a, another Vlogmas video. I'll do a haul of all the stuff, makeup and skincare related, that I have accumulated over the couple past couple months. But... 
before eyelid priming i've switched from the maybelline fit me to the milani conceal and perfect longwear concealer and i'm in the shade deep tan and i switched over to this concealer because it just fits the color of my nat the natural color of my eyelid a bit better and it the fit me concealer started creasing over my eye and it started messing up my eyeshadow look so yeah this was on sale at my job and so I decided to just pick it up and try it out and so far so good I love it All right, now I'm going to set the concealer with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade deep. All right, so my palette of choice today is going to be the ABH Norena palette. So this was the first ABH palette that I've ever been able to get this year. Um, I mean, I've, I've been so excited about it, but I'm so totally excited about Jackie's palette since I haven't been on YouTube, I haven't been able to talk about it, but I'm so, 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 so proud and excited about Jackie Ina's palette, and I can't wait to finally pick it up every time I go into Sephora, it's sold out, and you know, having to wait for it online, y'all know how I be, anyway, so I'm going to do a very earthy neutral eye look today because i think i'm going to do a bold lip so i'm going to use i'm going to use i'm weird when it comes to holding stuff y'all know this i'm going to use passion eccentric and i think my glitter is going to be a combination of rose gold and dreamer Bloop. but let's see what do i want to hear now y'all dang I was about to pick another song, but I don't know what song I want to do. So, y'all see that color payoff? If y'all, like, this is the part that gets me so excited about ABH palettes because their color payoff is amazing. And they blend so easily. Oh, I know a song. Hey, Google, play See You Girl by Steve Lacey. Hey Google, play How Dare You by Lupe Fiasco. How Dare You by Lupe Fiasco, sure, playing on Spotify. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of dazzling here too. Alright, my go-to eyeliner, as you guys know, Wet n Wild 
Mega Last Liquid Eyeliner in black. I'm not gonna do a dramatic wing today, just gonna do a little, little something, something. All right, today's mascara of choice is going to be the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. So, finally jumped on the bandwagon and got me a Lash Paradise because I wanted to check it out and see what the big deal was. And I actually do like it. Now, it is a bit hard to come off, but that's because I accidentally picked up the waterproof formula. Alright, prime time. We're going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Smooth. And then our prime time spray is going to be the NYX First Face Primer Spray. So, you guys know this has been my Route or Die Primer for a minute. And I'm actually running out, probably because I apply it like this. Hey Google, play Hair Down by Sir featuring Kendrick Lamar. Alright, playing the album Hair Down Beat, Kendrick Lamar on Spotify. Feet. Alright, it is time for the moment of truth guys, and that is foundation time. So again, NYX Born Who Glow Naturally Rated Foundation. So yeah, I have the shade Nutmeg and I'm hoping that Nutmeg is the perfect match for me. Upon putting it on my wrist, it looks like it. We gonna see. Dang it, I forgot still. I've been doing this a lot lately, but since I have dark circles under my eyes, I started concealing under my eyes and I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. As you can see, there's about that much left, but I'm in the shade Caramel, so I'm going to quickly conceal under my eyes. also have these dark areas that pop up on the side of my mouth every year when it gets cold and stuff well starts to get cold so conceal that too then I'm gonna take my baby sponge but actually first I'm going to fan this down a little bit Now I'm gonna take my big wait a minute. Okay, I was about to say where did it go? Now I'm gonna take my baby sponge. Now we can go in with foundation. Again, I'm going to apply this as I normally would. I'm a little nervous since I deviated from the shade that a uh, foundation told me. But I'm going to live with my choices. However, it looks it doesn't look that bad. So, normal routine, so I'm going to spray a little bit of the Maybelline Lasting Fix spray all over my face. 
one thing I don't like about this spray is it doesn't come out in a fine mist. It, so I have to angle it upwards. So. Anyways, I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush, the buffing brush. And we're going to see what she is, what Born to Glow is working with. Okay, so this match is looking pretty good. Now I am noted I am indoors. So we're gonna see what she look like when I go outside. But she's not a bad match. Hmm. And of course, since I don't have like a second screen or anything, I have no idea how she looks on camera right now. But to me, in this mirror, she don't look too bad. Hmm. Kylie. I went and stood by my window and color still doesn't look bad so we're gonna keep going as you guys know I use another beauty sponge and press my foundation into my face this is one of my hacks for keeping my foundation all day without it cracking or moving and shaking and whatever especially when I'm at work now we are going to set Maybelline fit me powder again I don't know if I'm gonna have to, I may not have to go too powder crazy with uh, this foundation, but we gonna see. We are going to see. Like I said, I'm gonna do everything that I do normally, so. All right, now that we are set, I'm corny. I'm not gonna apologize for it. Anyway, now that we are set, I'm going to go in with a little blush. And today I'm gonna use Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Rose Diorio. I think I'm pronouncing it right. And I'm gonna use my Jane Arundel Handy Brush. And I always go back over my blush just a little bit to kind of make it look like a glow with within from within type situation. So for highlighter today, I'm going to use my Milani Gilded Jade Eye and Face Palette and Amber Glow, as you guys know. I thought about using Aura just for a split second, but nope, I can't help it. It's, this is my go-to. Uh, this Real Techniques brush is the contour brush, but since your girl don't contour, she uses it as a highlighter brush. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Boop. So lips, I'm going to go in with my NYX Lip Liner and Hot Cocoa. Today's lipstick of choice is going to be a Milani Bold Statement Matte Lipstick and it's in the shade I Am Powerful which is a beautiful purple. Choo! How cute is she?
right guys this is the final look and so far I really do like the way this foundation feels on my skin um it doesn't feel heavy at all it actually feels a lot like my can't stop won't stop foundation by NYX um the color I really do like the color I think it really is you know a better match for me versus cinnamon cinnamon looks a bit a hair more than a hair too light so I do like how this looks on me now mind you this is how I feel that I look inside and when I went to the window but we're going to see how it looks outside when I actually get outside and of course I'm going to check in with you guys later to you know tell you guys about the wear test and more about the specifics of the foundation but for now I'm getting ready to get up out of here and I will check in with you guys a little bit later Hey guys, so I've worn the fourth foundation. Can't talk. I've worn the foundation for about nine hours. Um, now in video, it looks like it has oxidized just a little bit. The color doesn't, and it could just be this lighting. I don't know if this is supposed to help or not. It's probably not. But I can tell you one thing, I only had a problem with breakthrough on oil just a little bit on my nose, but that could also just be because of my highlight, who knows. But as far as how the foundation has lasted on my face throughout the day, I'm very impressed. No breakthrough or crumbling around my mouth, no breakthrough or crumbling around my nose. Um, for the most part, now I'm looking in the mirror now, it does look like it stayed true to color. It doesn't feel drying. Um, still comfortable to wear and yeah I actually like it like I said I don't think this lighting bathroom lighting does nothing justice really but uh, I don't think this lighting does it justice but it really is a pretty foundation I have to say I am impressed um, do I think it deburns NYX can't stop won't stop definitely not but it, it's a close second as far as NYX foundations go, I believe it's a close second for me. But I'm going to try the mirror angle. Alright, you guys can see it a little bit better now. Um, color looks different in the mirror. Um, pimple. But for the most part, true to color. I do like it. It is comfortable. And um, I'll give it a thumbs up. The color that I chose is a thumbs up. The comfortability of wear is a thumbs up. The price point is a thumbs up. Um, I will go more in depth about the pricing and everything in a different video that I have planned full of Black Friday stuff. But overall, I do like this foundation. I'll wear it again. I'll even recommend it. And yeah. So that's all for me for this video. I'm going to go take a shower because I got to work tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Mwah.